Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's Saturday and we're hanging out with the UEC. Thank you to everyone in this awesome community for allowing me to be here. Second battle of the weekend, starting at the 40 minute mark. Confederates had a pretty solid victory in the first one. Let's see if we can do this. All right, Goose, see you after the game, man. I appreciate you guys being here. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the fun. Let's hang out with the Union. Yeah. All right. That's all good for me. All right. Yes. And for all those that need shots of people crossing water, we're about to get some. So, again, make sure you take the time to uh, use these shots for your own media that you create. You're welcome to any of the stuff that I produce. You see right there, that's the middle bridge. So the Pry Ford is quite a bit further north than I would have thought it was. So we're looking south there. We should be. Let's see if the game's correct. No, it's got us looking northeast. I don't know. From the Pry Ford, if we're looking northeast from the Pry Ford, that's the north bridge. That's the uh, top bridge that leads over to Williamsport. So maybe we're looking at the north bridge. Can we see... Where am I at? Can we see the middle bridge? The Muma Farm's on fire down there, so that's in the right spot. How far can I go up? Uh, where I, uh, that's as far as I can go. Middle bridge, again, this game is not exactly perfect. This is about the right spot. So if that's the Muma Farm, that means the Bloody Lane is right out there. And that's, you know, the, Union came across the uh, Pry Ford, the second corps, and they're coming across now. Let's, let's go with them. Boy, look at that shot right there, bro. And I'll tell you, this, this map is one that has changed significantly since the addition of artillery. Everyone used to attack up the left-hand side. It's the flattest ground, you get good uh, avenues of attack. However, since the artillery of the Confederates have been up on that hill, Confederate, and I'm sorry, the Union artillery down here, you don't see a lot of play on the left-hand side of this map anymore. It's mostly happening on... The, the Confederate left, the Union right, and they'll usually attack from this position. So let's go with the Union. We're going to stick with them on the attack here, and we're going to see if, if these guys can't make a push. This is a very difficult map for the Union, in my opinion. I know uh, Schimmel Finnig and I had talked about this years ago now. He felt like it was a Confederate map. Um, maybe, maybe I got that backwards, but... Independent fire. I certainly feel like the Confederates have an advantage here, especially now with the artillery. I could be wrong, but it feels that way to me. And we'll stick with the Union. We'll see if they can do something on this attack. Looks like they're moving out right now. It's going to be the French Legion trying to get in a position to do some damage to the enemy. A 
little bit of that peekaboo. Peekaboo, as you do. So the beginning of these rounds, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes the guys will just rush straight in. Sometimes they'll be conserving tickets. And with the Union losing the first match, I'm not surprised they're a little bit uh, gun shy. But look at this. We've got some guys right up on this left hand side. But you can see they're already paying the price. German Corps, they already got hit by the artillery. I missed it. But man, there's just not a lot there. And Weber, he's going to sacrifice some bodies in order to throw the Confederates off. You can see he's already hitting the reinforcements of Colquitt's brigade including the flag bearer. Well, the mini balls of the German Corps not hitting their marks in that case. That unit's up here on the rocks. going to be 20th Georgia holding the left. Boy, that's going to be hard to get through. And they're uh, supported by the 8th Florida. Man, oh man. That left side is not going to be easy. Colquitt's holding the middle. First Lieutenant Mighty, I like that, Mighty what? Yeah, the Union really not being aggressive now. They're kind of hiding out, looking for an avenue of advancement. I just don't know that you're going to find it on this side. Confederates are just so used to this tactic. You're going to have to run the guns in order to do something to really change this battle up. You can see the, the French are using that peekaboo maneuver, getting out. And then going back. Now, in the past, the units of the UEC, so experienced, they'll wait for a unit to show themselves. And they won't waste a lot of rounds unnecessarily. So sometimes the peekaboo works, sometimes it doesn't. Not saying it wasn't an actual tactic used in the Civil War. It certainly was. But you can see the Confederates holding a pretty good solid defensive wall there, although they're not close to the point of contention, so it is bleeding away. About even, looks like the, the Union's lost more tickets and being the attacker again, doesn't bode well for them this round. We'll see if they can get it turned around. You see that artillery already working back there. Just not a lot of Confederates to kill. That's why you're gonna see most of those guys holding on one side of the map. Although the German Corps is in behind the Confederates, they're not waiting. Another artillery blast and they've got to get out of there. Weber, a brave commander, always wanting to put his men up front, but he's got to have support. He's not a Superman. And those guys are really exposed. Now, if the whole army did what Weber just did right there, this may throw the Confederates in a, a huge confusion tailspin. I haven't seen that yet. You can see the Union trying to get in position, finding the edge. They're going to have to run the gambit if they want to get to those rocks, and it's not going to be easy. See Sergeant Peterson there. Question is, how long before the Confederates get antsy? I don't know how far forward they can actually move, to be 100% honest with you. I don't think they can get past that fence, or even up to it, to be honest. German Corps again out in the open. Weber's made Yankee Jam already twice today. Let's see if they get hit for a third time. You see those boys have the cavalry weapons this time. Love that gun. Love that sharks. Oh, there it is. Big gun going off. Maybe case. Oh, guy knocked his hat off, then he got shot in the leg. He's down. I can see Weber without a hat. Got his hat blown off. Surprised any of these guys are wearing a hat. They've already gone through now three large artillery shells. Weber going down. Como now in command. And he's going to get him out of the open. So as you can see, the, the Union playing really conservative here so far. I don't know how that's going to work. This is a massive Confederate defense, and I don't know that, I just don't know that conservative is going to help you in this case. It's certainly, I don't know, it's paying off kind of. You can see the Union coming back on tickets. Confederates bleeding out. 
Weber's back. He's like, hey, we're not going too far. We'll try to find some cover. But man, if you're not getting hit by the big gun, you're getting hit by the rifles. Looks like a Kolkwitz brigade. These men are brave. Though. They'll stand there and fight it out. Flags on the ground. There's only five of them, including the officer. Como got the flag and they're out of there. The rank. And what was the German Corps is now an empty field. So again, no large push by the Union. Huh. And the 6th Cav kind of just... I don't know if they're just having a picnic back here. Or what's going on? Hugo's forward as a... It's a great idea. <laughs> advanced guard. <laughs> Well, we uh, come up on their side, and then we uh, shoot them. Remember Bailey? I like it. I like Sacrifice it. Sacrifice yourself to the enemy. Godspeed. Oh, both of you, man. Sorry. Well, it looks like they got a plan anyway. I don't know when they're going to put that into effect. Right now, the Confederates... Ah, man, I tell you, the Union's really making a comeback here, right? I, I've given them a little... Uh, teasing them up a bit for playing conservative, but you can see the tickets... They definitely have fewer than the Confederates, but the Confederates are bleeding away, so this tactic may be working for the Union player, although that big gun is really, really hurting the German Corps. You can see both sides of the German Corps trying to push that left side. I like this tactic, but you're going to have to have a lot of men in order to do it because they cannot reach those Confederate guns. They can get close enough to shoot them. That's not really going to help them. Unless they can guarantee they kill all those guns and then they turn their sights on the infantry. But you can see you got Confederate infantry moving that way to defend against that Union left flank. Wow, I, I tell you what, man, I don't know the last time I saw a UEC event where they played this conservative. I don't think Confederate's gonna last for, let them do it for long. Here comes Colquitt, Lieutenant Colonel Grimm in the van, and he's gonna face off with the German Corps. All right, we got Union movement coming that way. Other side of the German Corps, along with the French, hitting the 20th Georgia and the rocks. They are supported by the 8th Florida. Can the Union do it? What a great defensive tactic. The Florida holding back. The Georgia holding out to the last man. But as the Union thought they had won the day, here come the Floridians. A lot of Union still here. Can they do it? Will the Union take the rocks? You hear it cost them. They are now engaged. But the Confederates were able to do it. They were able to destroy that attack. That is how you defend those rocks. They had a regiment in the rocks that took the brunt of the attack. Two regiments attacked them. And the Confederates able with that second wing able to counterattack and destroy the Union attackers. Wow. What a great defense for that position. 27 minutes left in the match. Union engaged, Confederates almost there, but it's definitely with 26 minutes left, a Confederate battle so far. You can see the Union flags laying in the dirt, all the boys in blue laying there with it. I'll write your mama, boy. That was fucking crazy. Crazy? I, I tried to counter flag. I agree, Danny. That was crazy. 
Rob runs a shot at the, the, uh, the uh, rock, so I'm a bit worried about that. Wait, the enemy? Yeah, I think it's so. Florida, take a knee. Yeah. 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 But um, they'll be back. What's the so thing? Uh, just wait. There might be a friendly shoot with the RTI. Yeah, I don't know. I think so. We'll, we'll just wait. There, there, Bro, yeah. I, I see gray. All right, we're going to take the rocks, boys. Rise up. All right, so you can see Hog. They're going to take the position of the 20th Georgia. Let the Georgians be the counter punchers this time. You can see the Union now. Looks like they're going to try to make a push on the left. I like this tactic. Let's see if they can make it happen. This is old school UEC right here. See Weber out front. He's been trying this side all day, but uh, uh, looks like most of those Union are breaking back off to the right. So he's going to be by himself again. No man would say Max Weber isn't brave. That's for sure. It's a beautiful hat, sir. Be a shame if some artillery knocked it off. Oh, there it is. I was waiting for it. There it is. They just missed. And the German Corps splitting in two today. Have more flexibility on the move. This is half of it, 20th New York. And they want to draw Confederates away from that center and the Confederate right, or Confederate left, I'm sorry. And try to force the Confederates out of that awesome defensive position. You see Weber's found the rocks. Although his back is to the Confederate guns. A danger, dangerous position. And you can see, although Weber is losing men in this position, that flagman being in line is drawing more and more reinforcements here. They're deploying on the flag. So he could hold this position for a long time as long as these guys keep moving in. So they're doing that now. Here come the Union again on the Confederate left. See if the Confederates can hold again. And they'll play it just like they did last time in reverse. 20th Georgia coming in with the bayonet. Can they push the Union out of the rocks? Looks like Colquitt's coming in to help as well. Oh, man, friendly fire. That definitely came from up the hill. And a lot of Confederates going down to friendly fire on that one. But they've done it. They've successfully pushed the Union away. But this is going to allow Weber to get in behind. Nature abhors a vacuum. And you can see Weber is more than happy to fill that hole. A dangerous position. But Weber is used to that. These 20th New Yorkers, they are not afraid of danger. But how long can they hold that position? Well, I tell you, in the open field with no cover, you just can't reinforce fast enough. And I'm just waiting for that big gun to come off that hill and annihilate these boys. 
but I would have thought he would be taking the point from here, but he's not. You can see the Union now. They do have the Confederates engaged, but they are severely down on tickets. I would imagine Colquitt's or somebody's going to come in here and uh, bayonet these guys out of this position before long. <coughs> but right now they're happy in the rocks getting kills, but it won't be long before those Union reinforcements show up on their flank again. We got Confederates that spawn behind them coming back this way. Oh, See, there's Captain Fritz what? in the eighth Florida pointing at the at the German Corps as they move away. Only three of them left. And Danny now sees the open lane back to his men. He'll take it. David Mole just popping in like, where the hell am I? <laughs> You're in the danger zone, David. Keep running. And a large group of Confederates. So Weber, his men would have been annihilated if he'd have stayed there, if not by the muskets of the uh, guys from the rocks, certainly from the guys coming behind him. Weber goes down. And they're doing their best to uh, unbalance the Confederates, but just not having a lot of luck. You can see, again, most of the Union going to the Confederate left. Although the French are coming out to assist Weber and the German Corps. This could be interesting. This is a dangerously exposed position. And the Confederates really hanging around the rocks right now, although they do have more of a uh, they do have more of a group in the middle. All right, here comes another attack. This will be the third time they're trying these rocks. Can they do it now? Now the Confederates don't have a second row. They're all piled in the rocks, but not a lot of Union coming on this attack. 88, kind of by themselves. Don't know if they have enough to take on two regiments. And the rest of the Union headed toward the middle. They want to get there at the point of contention. They're putting a lot of pressure on the Confederates now. But they're already engaged, threatening to go to taking losses. And this is a fine position for Confederate artillery. You can see the Union got in behind them. And 8th Florida not going to let that happen. They're going to push the German Corps out of there. That's the other side of the German Corps. Jack Stone's boys. They're doing a lot of good work over here on the Confederate right. You don't see this often anymore. But now more Union coming in. A lot of 8th Florida here. Can they do it? <laughs> Union making a solid push toward the center. Here they are. Artillery going off. You hear the rebel yell, the Union now taking losses, but they want to take that point of contention away. Less than 18 minutes in the match. Oh my God, another massive artillery blast. Confederate artillery taking no mercy on these boys in blue today. If there's a map you want to see Yankee Jam or Confederate Jelly, it's this one. Still hanging on to those rocks in the back. Just a lot of comp uh, Confederate pressure. Just couldn't hold the point of contention. You see, they tried. Just not enough. Too much Confederate defense here. But they're they're not running too far. See, Weber wants to stay in the area. But man, good luck finding a safe place over here. It's all artillery all the time. Although we do have Union pushing up the hill. Check this out. That's brave. 22nd Virginia, they just figured out they can't get that far. And so they'll head back to their friendly units. They kind of pushed the Confederate and pinned them in those rocks, and now they're starting to come back this way. So this could work out now. So since the German Corps has been bringing a lot of attention to the Confederate right, maybe it'll draw Confederates over there, and the Union will be able to make that push on the left because most of the Confederate Army is now away from those rocks on the left-hand side. They've been trying to get that all day. Can they do it now that the Union 
is pulling. This looks like 20th George is not going to let that happen. They're going to go back over to the rocks. Heads up move by Jumbo. It's like you could read my mind. Not that hard. I have a pretty simple, pretty simple mind. And the uh, Union's going to fall back. So, you know, they've already only 16 minutes left. Un Union almost have the Confederates taking losses, but not quite. They are behind here. They're going to have to make a solid push as a as a whole force in order to take this away. Throw those flags in the chat. You think the Union can do it? Who thinks the Union can win this one? It's doubtful, but I never count out any of these UEC units. They're all, they all impress me every time I watch. Weber's certainly not ready to give up on this Union left. And the Confederates will go back to their original position. So you can see how, how quickly things change on the battlefield. Parts of the field that are important become non-important and then become important again. And the Union now losing an opportunity to really force their way in on that Confederate left because they're really setting it up high on that side. They got full faith in the, uh, the Confederate artillery to protect their right. And they've done a pretty good job so far. Let's go with the Union attack. And if you're wondering where some of your favorite units are, you're not seeing them on this map, they may be on the other server, including units like the 51st New York. And Koto is actually uh, streaming and filming that right now. So if you guys want to find Koto, either on YouTube or Twitch, I can never have figured out which one he's streaming on, go over there and watch his video as well. There's no laws that says you can't watch more than one stream at a time. That way you can get the perspective of the whole UEC and not just one server. I love that he's, he's filming these events. Maybe one day I'll get to retire and he can take over. That'd be great. I enjoy actually watching these things more than filming them. But it's always so much fun to hang out with these guys. You can see there the the brave men of the sixth. They are trying to take that point of contention away. They've almost done it. 1339 left. They're gonna take that point, try to get out of here, and there it looks like they're gonna do it. Although there aren't many of them left. Will they do it? I don't know. Oh no! They almost did, and it started bleeding away, just not enough men. Will any other Union regiments come up to fill that hole? Here come the German Corps. There you go. That blue is building back up. Weber put his men in the right spot. And there you go. Counterattack. 11.56 left in the match on the counter clock. 13 in the game clock. And the Union have made their biggest push of the match. But already that blue line is bleeding away along with the lives of the Union. Although the Confederates are about to take losses. You see a large Union force coming up to the center. How long before the Confederate artillery makes them pay? If they stay behind that hill, they're somewhat protected. You see the Confederates starting to move men away from the rocks toward the center. This will open up that Confederate left, but no Union there to take advantage of it. There's the huzzah. The Confederates are now taking losses. But they're taking back the point of contention as well. Frustrating the Confederate artillery. They can't get over that hill, but the Union not hanging on they're falling back the german corps now left all alone oh no getting those guns in range you can see how many of the union fell that poor guy lost his hat i paid two dollars for that hat son of a bitch Let's see the confederates feel like they've got that position secure they're gonna move away from it and they are taking it back from the union 
incredible matches, but you know, we should be used to that by now with the UEC. They're incredible matches all weekend, every weekend. We reclaim the field. It must be defended. There you go. The Confederates have taken back. 13 minutes left on the game clock. And Confederates showing a lot of muscle this weekend. They've had a couple weeks where the Union been on top of them. This weekend, they're really coming back with a vengeance. Can the Union turn this thing around and win this match with less than 13 minutes left? They're behind on tickets. You'd almost think the Confederate gunners, because they are limited on how much ammunition they have. Although I say that they're limited, but they're limited to, I mean, they got a bunch of them. Like that, there's that crate, that crate, there's three of them. They got more back here. They put this gun way up on the hill. Look at this. And you know, it's the Mormons, man. Deadly gunners. You've seen it already all day long. They've been just wearing out this Union artillery and Union infantry. <laughs> Having a great yeah, time doing it. This is fun. Hey, maybe you don't want to hold a musket. Maybe you want to play, but you don't want to reenact an infantry guy. Have you considered artillery? It's a real fun mini game inside of the game where you get to run a big gun. Look at this. And do absolute damage to the opposing team. It's pretty fantastic. I love this. And they're going to figure out a way to get cavalry in the game as well. This, I assume this map will be a cavalry map. Uh, since there was really no battle over in this area, there was some cavalry action possibly, but this is the uh, Pry 4. This is where the Second Corps came across, including Sedgwick, who came across earlier, followed by French, and then followed by Richardson. And then they would move around to their south that way, and going in that direction would lead to the Bloody Lane. So again, more German Corps... Sticking on that left-hand side. I love this tactic. You don't see it a lot anymore. This is old school UEC. Since the artillery has come out, guys have learned that they are just targets to become jelly over here. But these German Corps, they're brave. They want to turn this thing around and it should pull Confederates away. Now, if they can pull the Confederates away from the Confederate left, maybe over there, you can see those Union hiding there, maybe the six cab. Maybe they can come in and take that spot and then put them in between the hammer and the anvil. But they got... They only have 10 minutes to do it, and they're behind on tickets. But once again, the Union in behind the Confederates. How long before the Confederates will respond? That usually doesn't take them long. And the German's going to get as close as they can. See, they got that bush for cover. I just don't know if those bushes help because it's hard to see where the enemy is with an artillery piece from a distance. But not if you're shooting out a clump of trees. That's a much easier target to hit than just a row of men. And you can see the artillery already coming in behind, doing more damage to the German Corps. Yeah, rocks and bushes. It's a good way for an artillery piece to hit you from a distance. You can see the Confederates now starting to mass up in the center. Question is, will the other side of the Union Army do anything about it? Now's the time to rush into that right side to get around the Confederates, but they know they still have units out there. The Confederates playing a, just a great defense of this map. Oh, and there it is. It's just a matter of time. If you're exposed to the Mormon battery, you're going to get battered. And here comes more Union down the center. Maybe the French Legion.
French Legion along with the 6 Cav. Instead of swinging around to those rocks and getting destroyed again, they're coming to the center. Oh my god, look at the artillery. Again, this is why they get murdered at the rock, because they don't want to get murdered in the open field. A lot of hats missing though, only a couple killed. So they're still alive. And they're sl slowly, slowly, ever so slowly, taking away the point of contention from the Confederates. And this could be the strongest push we've seen out of the Union today. 7.20 left in the match. They're about to take the point of contention again. The Confederates have fallen back to the rocks on the Confederate left. Uh, yo, how do I join the UEC? Hey, Morgan, all you got to do is go to my Discord. If you go to my YouTube page, spelled the same way, Joe Hova. Get on the Discord, and uh, we'll introduce you to anybody you want to get in touch with. Depending on where you are in the world and what unit you want to join, these guys are more than happy to talk to you. And he, this is the United European community, but you don't have to be European. There's plenty of North American players in this community as well. And uh, we'd love to have you, Morgan. So, yeah, reach out, man. Get on the Discord. All of the uh, commanding officers for these units are on my Discord. I can also get you in touch with anybody. If you have a specific unit you want to talk to, let me know. I'll get you in touch with that commander. And the Union really making a strong push here. I love it. Six minutes, 11 seconds left on the counter clock. That's how long it takes before they win the match. Again, more artillery coming in. But the Union making a strong push here. I love this aggressive play. This might win them the match. Can they do it? Hey, do you think the Union can come back and win? Confederate reinforcements coming in, making it hard on this line. 13th Georgia. Going to slam in to James Joker in the German Corps. They're going to get some help from their compatriots coming this way. So now the Union have also effectively cut off the reinforcements of the Confederates, but now the Confederates are going to come out and put in line, and they're going to try to de defeat the Union at this spot. So this is how it used to happen. This is a throwback right here. You don't see this a lot since the artillery has entered the game, and i got a feeling you're going to see why before long. The Union now breaking... But they've got a good attacking line on the Confederates. Will the French pay the price and turn into Yankee Jam? Yeah, the gun's going off. They're not in this position. I think they're shooting for the point. And here come the Confederates. 8th Florida, they want to push them out of there. Now we've already seen friendly fire from the Mormons. Will they hit the rocks on accident? You see the blue line bleeding away. Confederates taking back the point of contention. Only seven minutes left in the match and here come the Union with the bayonet. Yeah, for sure, Morgan, reach out, dude. We'd love to have you. an extra rifle in the UEC. Union pushing the Floridians away. Other Confederates attacking the Union on the left. Not enough men to do it. French, they're getting hit by the big artillery, but they're still holding strong along with the German Corps. Union really showing me something here. This is a beautiful attack. 350 left, and here come the 20th Georgia. Jumbo's like, this beautiful attack needs to end right now. Here they come. And the guns of the Georgians, not to be denied, the German Corps running for their lives. Leaving their flag behind, you can see Jumbo running with the sword. Both sides are now breaking. If the Union were to take it now, they'd win, but they have the point of contention. Confederates have to take it back first. Not so quickly. Here come the French Legion. I don't know if the Georgians expected them to come from that direction, but they've they're woken up now, and here they come on the defense. 
Wow, what an attack by the Union. It ain't over yet. <laughs> Snafu and Akir. Uh oh. Oh, we got him. How the fuck did I win? <laughs> well, you did, and you're about to take back the point of contention because of it. Look at all the death, dude. There's, there are not many units left on the field standing, but you got some of them. Eighth Florida, Danny Fritz. He's going to move the guys back to this direction, taking back the point of contention. Wow, an incredible, an incredible Union attack. Just couldn't hold long enough. But give the boys a lot of credit, man. That was, that was ballsy. And the Confederates, it wasn't easy for them. Look at that. Most of those guys are coming from spawn because of that Union attack. That was a very, very strong Union attack. Question is now, will they, will they keep the Confederates on this side or will they swing around and try to take those rocks again? Let's set with the Confederates at the point and see what happens. Oh my God, don't know where that artillery came from. Could have been from the Union artillery. I see smoke, but they've done it. They've captured the point of contention. Seven minutes left on the game clock. Here comes another Union attack. And the Confederates will be overwhelmed by the sheer force of the Union attack. But they're not done yet. They've got two regiments back here firing muskets into the Union. So 6th Cav, 20th New York is here. They need more Union to come in and hold this spot. You can see they're on their way. And now they've switched sides on the Confederates. They've cut off the rocks. And the Confederates now are gonna lose their left-hand position, which they've tried to hold so long in this match. But the Union about to go to final push. Man, what an attack. You gotta give it to the boys in blue. These Union guys have really fought their asses off here. Confederates doing everything in their power to hold them back. And even though the Union's so close to the point, they just can't take it away. Five and a half minutes left. They've got to charge out these Confederates. 20th Georgia taking a strong position in the rock, supported by the 8th Florida. It's going to be a hard position for these Germans to hold on to. You can see the German Corps along with the 88th New York. They're here as well. And there it is. Final push. Final push for the Union. Three and a half minutes left in the match. This one's a nail biter. Could go right down to the end, although I give the Confederates the advantage here. They still have a lot of room in the breaking bar. You can see the Union now falling back. They've got one, maybe two strong attacks left. But the Confederates have to be very, very happy. You know, we used to call the 8th Florida and 8th Alabama the Mighty 88. I don't know what you call 8th Florida and the... 8th or the 20th Georgia but I'll tell you when those guys fight together it gives me memories of the mighty 88 for sure and they're chasing these Union away wow so it's coming down less than less than three minutes left and Union might have one maybe two strong attacks left but it's going to take the whole army to do it I just don't know if they got the men left to do it Welcome, by the way, to the 13th Georgia. Don't see a lot of you guys. Thank you for being here, Major Rolo. I appreciate you. And here, Danny's very happy. Floridians had a couple hard weeks, so it's good to get back in the Confederate gray and start kicking some ass again. I'm sure they're all happy about that.
Well, the Confederates' defense is just so strong. Two minutes left. Union's done a great job. Don't get me wrong. They have just really shown themselves to be the amazing fighters they are in this match. But boy, oh boy, what a defensive stronghold by the Confederates. Here come the Union again. Can they do it? Who's leading us out? 88th New York. Was that FIP shit? <laughs> oh, man. Getting hit by artillery on the way in. Losing men. First lieutenant finds himself all alone. And here we go. Who will win? One minute, one minute left in the match. This is it. This is all the Union can do. Is it going to be enough? A lot of Confederates in the area. I just don't think so. They are taking away the point of contention. If they can take it, they can win it here. Just don't know if they got enough. Here comes the charge by the 8th Florida. Last stand, the Confederates are taking it back, but too little, too late. Less than 10 seconds in the match, and the Confederates are going to be successful. Wow, what an incredible match. Well done by everyone. I'm especially excited about that new left hook that the Union tried to pull out here. It was almost successful, boys. Don't give up on it now. I hate to see the same attacks every time, and that was really fun to watch. If you like that, hit that like button. Consider subscribing until next time. My name's Jehovah, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.